safe buys, I'm safe. And today I wanted to walk you through what I think is the best portable power bank here. It can charge your MacBook, your iPhone, your Android phone, your iPad, whatever you got laying around, your Apple Watch. There's more technology we have on us these days than any other time. That has given rise to the need for some companies to create the ultimate power bank. What I am holding is Endgame Power Bank. This exceeded expectations for me in every way. It's got features in it that I didn't know I would want in a power bank, but I will walk you through every single feature. And if you stick with me, I'll also walk through the best portable power bank that I think money can buy, as well as the best MagSafe power bank I think money can buy currently. This is based on my research. I just like buying this stuff. I like finding the best accessories the best technology and just buying it and experiencing it if that's what you're into like and subscribe to this channel that's all we're doing here as with every video I'll just point out that if you want to play this video at 2x speed just click on the settings cog on your phone or on your laptop and then click playback speed and then increase the speed of this video to whichever speed you like I would rather give you more information than less for when someone just gives me all the information they have and not cut out a bunch of stuff just to make it more watchable so feel free to watch the higher playback speed also I've added chapter markers below so if there's a specific product that you want to jump to or a specific section feel free to jump I won't be offended let's dive right into it here what I'm holding in my hand is the anchor prime 27,650 milliamp hour power bank this has a combined charging output of 250 watts through not one but two USB-C ports and then one USB-A port. What this means is from either of these USB-C ports you can basically output 140 watts. What is 140 watts? That is the top of the line Apple MacBook Pro charger over here. This outputs 140 watts and now this power bank can output that to your MacBook Pro as well. So you can get a 50% charge on your MacBook Pro 16 inch in about 28 minutes or so they advertise and I can confirm it charges it super fast. So when you're out and about editing or doing whatever you wanna do on your MacBook and you're not always right beside a wall outlet, which happens a lot if you're at a cafe or something like that, you can have this and this will top up your charge on your MacBook super quickly. Before this charger, it wasn't really possible to get this kind of speed without a wall outlet. And this charger has just changed the game. And honestly, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna keep this, but then when I got it, and I experienced the whole package here that I'm about to walk you through, I would be remiss to ever return this, to be honest. That is the top line feature there. It's the quickness of the charging for multiple devices. So what does that mean? If it's 250 watts output total, you can basically charge two laptops at the same time. You can charge your phone and your MacBook at full speed at the same time, or your iPad and your MacBook at the same time at full speed. And so it just opens a lot of potential and doors there. The second best feature I can think of here is how quickly this power bank charges, because a power bank is no good if you forget to charge it. And what this one does come with, and it's based on availability, so I'll put the product links to Amazon below, and you may or may not be able to get it with the charging base. I'll also put the anchor links if I can find those to these products as well, but the availability varies. This one comes with a charging base. So this charging base has a USB-A port and two USB-C ports, as well as one of them over there is dedicated for the laptop, as you can see. This will fast charge your laptop or your devices while your power bank is charging. So this wireless charger over here, you just plug in the cable, plug this into your wall outlet, and now you can charge your devices from here while this power bank is charging. And it's not just charging, but it's charging wirelessly at a speed of 100 watts. So this thing charges so fast that while I'm charging it, I can literally see the percentages. You can literally see the percentage of the battery increasing as you just look at it, which means it's charging super fast. I believe it goes from zero to like 27,650 milliamp hours, a full charge inside of 50 minutes or something crazy like that. So that's what I experienced. And honestly, I didn't even know anything could charge that quickly, but Anchor has outdone themselves here. And I'm just sharing this with you. So I'm just telling you guys this because I'm excited. You can buy this, you can not buy it. You just need to know this exists. All right, so over here, we've got a power button and when you press it, you can see the current charge that's in it, 100%. So you get an exact percentage as opposed to a lot of power banks where you might just get like a status indicator of how full the power bank is. And I'll also walk you through some more affordable options, of course. So it'll show you the exact status and it'll also show you a lot of in-depth details. So if I was to get my cable here, plop it in there, grab my iPhone 15 Pro Max and plug it in. Now this is fast charging, of course and we've got our details here. So look at that, 
immediate details on how long it's going to take. Obviously, it takes time to adjust. It's telling you the exact output it's giving your phone and how long it thinks it's going to take to charge your phone up. So that is pretty cool. And let's put two devices in here right now together. It also comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable. And if we get our Pixel 8 Pro here and we try charging this at the same time, the quality thick USB-C to the USB-C cable, by the way, charge it at the same time. Now let's see what happens here. Did anything change? Yeah, it shows you that because they're labeled, C2 is getting 20 watts currently, and then C1 is getting 27.3. So the iPhone is getting 27.3 watts, and the Google Pixel is getting less wattage. Why is that? Probably because the Google Pixel is at 92%, and the iPhone is at 28%. So the iPhone's at that stage where it basically is charging quickly, and then the Google Pixel, since it's close to a full charge, is charging slower, which makes sense, right? So that proves that this thing is probably accurate because we know that's the case. The higher percentage your phone is charged, the less output wattage is directed to it. I'm not an engineer here. I'm just telling you what I think. And yeah, it's interesting. It's telling us that it'll take two hours, 26 minutes to charge. I don't know if that's both of them or is that the time till the battery is depleted in the power bank? I'm not too sure to be honest, but neither do I care too much. One thing though that I think is a con here is I did try charging, let's say I have a power bank and I want to charge said power bank with this power bank. What I've noticed is that these power banks, like any other power bank, will almost always try charging this thing as opposed to the other way around. But let's see. Actually no, with this power bank, see here, it's successfully charging the power bank at 96 watts. So this is another anchor power bank. This is like a 20,000 or 25,000 milliamp hour one with two USB-C ports and two USB-A ports. So more ports, but less speed. And so this will struggle to charge your laptop, for example. But yeah, we can see it's outputting 96.4 watts over to the power bank. Pretty cool. And it says remaining 44 minutes. I think that's, I don't know if it's referencing the power bank again. I don't know what the time really is when it says remaining when you have two devices plugged in. All right, we just proved that this is the case. Let's try here with the MagSafe power bank that I'll walk you through later. Yeah, you see, when I plug in this MagSafe anchor power bank, it's not charging, like this power bank isn't charging the small one. The small one's trying to charge the big one. As you can see there, it looks like it's trying to charge the big power bank. So I'm not sure how to adjust that. The next coolest feature on this thing that I wasn't aware of till after I bought it was you can have the power bank play a sound. So if you're within Bluetooth range and you download the Anchor app, you can quickly just go to the Anchor app and then pulling it up there. Power bank, let it connect. Boom, it's connected super fast. Scroll to the bottom. You see where it says find my device. We click on that. There you go. It's finding the device and so you can quickly find it in your house. And I'm presuming if you are looking for a power bank of this size, using it in the house is major key because I know when I'm in my house in Egypt and the house is much bigger than this one bedroom apartment I'm in, it's always pivotal to be able to just carry a power bank with me and charge my phone or my laptop wherever I'm sitting, which isn't always right beside a wall outlet. So that's another extreme major use case there for power banks that I don't think people consider. It's the convenience of charging anywhere in your house. And the fact that this docking station is here, you could just literally always have it on the docking station, then you need to charge in the kitchen or whatever, you just grab it with you, go, you're gone, you're charging. When you come back to the kitchen, just slap it back on or wherever. And yeah, this is a household item over here. You can get it in two colors, let me mention that. So this is the space gray silver version. I don't know what color they call it, but there's also a gold version, so you can get that too. And also size-wise, this is not as big as you might think. So size-wise, I wanna compare it here side by side with an iPhone 15 Pro Max. You see height-wise, it's virtually the same as the 15 Pro Max. Let me remove the ESR Geo wallet. And then thinness-wise, it's like, one, two, three, four, five iPhones stacked on top of each other. So it is not that large. I don't want to, but if I had to, boom. 
it's in the pockets and then I could be walking around like this it looks kind of weird for sure and most people aren't wearing pants as tight as mine but I could just grab it like that now it's charging and bam or I could just go around and bam and it's not like I'm gonna get robbed like this right maybe I will be laughed at but probably not robbed what else is cool so I just showed you how portable this thing is and for reference for example we could compare it to the 26,000 milliamp hour 87 watt anchor charger that I've got here and again it is not that different let's put the pixel 8 pro here for reference iPhone 15 iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Anchor 87 watt 26,000 charger all side by side size wise really it's not that bad it's really not that bad at all especially if you're carrying a backpack which I'm assuming you are if you're going to a cafe and you're working from there and you see good need to spend $180 or so on this power bank, which by the way, that's what it costs, right? But the price fluctuates all the time and you may or may not find it with the charging base. Highly recommend you get it with the charging base because of the convenience of the 100 watt charging speed wirelessly and then you just grab it and go, which is better than having to like attach a cable. What that means is you're less likely to forget charging it when you have the wireless charging capability. And that's the case with my phone too. Ever since I started using MagSafe on the back of my phone and obviously I'm using it on my Pixel too. I just slap it on my bedside table and I rarely forget to plug it in because slapping it wirelessly is a lot easier than having to find the cable and then just shove it in there. It's a small thing but it adds up with time. I can say it resulted in me always remembering to charge my phone. And I imagine it will be the case here with this power bank too. Or it is the case definitely with this power bank too. Even if we compare it to the Apple charger here. This is the 140 watt Apple MacBook Pro charger. It's not that big. It's not that big at all. This thing literally carries 27,650 milliamp hours of energy. Now, if I had to find fault with this thing, I'm gonna nitpick here and say that the piano black, it smudges, it gets fingerprints a lot. I don't know if you can see on camera here, but I always like my stuff to be pristine, so I find myself wiping it a lot. And who knows, maybe it'll show scratches over time, I don't know, but so far it's scratchless, it just gets fingerprints. And yeah, honestly, aesthetics is whatever. The functionality this is offering, I don't even care at this point. And yeah, that's the Anchor Prime 27,650 milliamp hour power bank. Highly recommend. Links in the description, of course, for the most up-to-date prices and everything. But let's say you don't want to pull the trigger on this thing and it's too expensive and I would totally understand that. You might want to go for something like this. I don't know if they're still saying this one, but I will post whatever their latest version of this one is here, this 87 watt maximum. So this will charge your iPad, no problem. It'll charge probably your MacBook Air, no problem as well. Might struggle with a MacBook Pro, but this is 26,000 milliamp hours, two USB-C ports and two USB-A ports. And yeah, I've had this for many years. I think three or four years now, actually, I've had this and it's still holding up great. And yeah, when you're out in the summer or you're out traveling, just put it in your satchel. And you got your satchel and then your cable just popping out of it like this. And then you got it plugged into your iPhone, put the satchel on, and then bam, you're walking around like this. Walk around charging your phone with the cable coming out like this. And I do prefer this over trying to like wirelessly charge it with a MagSafe power bank, which I'll walk through in a bit too, because it's just so quick, right? Like presuming if you're walking around, you don't want to have to keep waiting for your phone to charge. You just want it to quickly top it up and then proceed with your life using your phone as you will, taking photos, doing whatever you want. You don't want to have to be held back by having a MagSafe power bank on the back of it or whatever, though it's pretty cool. As far as MagSafe power banks go, it's probably the best one, which I'll walk through in a bit. So that's another option there. The 87 watt, 26,000 milliamp hour anchor charger. And I don't know if I'll find this exact one on Amazon. I will link you whatever I find. They probably made it better. Another great option here I find is this 10,000 milliamp hour one. 
And again, Anchor did not send me any of these guys. I've been using these for years, okay? I, th this channel isn't big enough to get sent much of anything at all. Okay, so you can trust that everything is my true, honest opinion. So this one, it shows you the indicator there with the number of circles. That's the same as the one I just showed you, the other one. But what's cool about this one is it's one USB-C, one USB-A, and we are looking at 9,700 milliamp hours. But the output on this isn't that fast. It's relatively fast. I think it's, yeah, I think the maximum output on this thing is 35 watts. But again, this is a super old one from like three or four years ago. So I'll link whatever the newest one is. It'll probably have a higher wattage rating. But what's really great about this one is you just plug it in your wall and then you're charging your devices. And then when it's always chopped up because it's charging itself since it's plugged in the wall. And at the same time, it's charging your device. So you take your device and this will always be topped up. You just unplug it from the wall, put it in your pocket and you're off to go or put it in your bag. And it is super small for reference. This is what we're looking at. Actually, let me iPhone 15 Pro Max. And it's not that thick neither. So great accessory there. Let's say these options I just showed are too large, right? You want something that's really pocketable and it's the summer and you're just walking around and you have an old iPhone or something to that effect and you just want to quickly charge your phone. That is where this Anchor Nano Power Bank comes into play. And this Nano Power Bank honestly is amazing because it comes with a built-in USB-C prong. Of course, if you do need lightning, you can buy the lightning version of this, which they do have a lightning version, but I do recommend since, you know, everything is moving to USB-C, you just get the USB-C version. And if you really want a lightning connector, I'll also link to this lightning adapter here. So you just plug it in there and it'll charge your lightning accessories. So I know, for example, the AirPods Max still uses lightning, right? So you can just quickly plug it in there, boom. Now we're charging our AirPods Max. Yep. Sorry, could you say that again? Yep, it's charging. I don't know if you can see, but the indicator light is on. Anyway, charge your AirPods Max using the lightning accessory here. And I do highly recommend you get this when you buy them. It comes with a little plastic thing that you can tie to your cable. You can tie it to the cable and then you always have a lightning and a USB-C connector on you at all times. I was using it over here. You get it like this this connector and then wrap it around your USB-C cable. And then you've got just what you need here. So you got your USB-C, but let's say you've got a lightning product on you. Boom, just slap it on like that. And now you can charge your lightning product. No problemo as well. Ingenious. <laughs> They've solved everything. There's a product to solve every problem. And that is why Safe Buys exists. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm just telling you about products that changed my life and I think might change yours too. The Anchor Nano, I can't really fault it for anything, okay? You can charge it quickly like this and then you're just walking around with your phone like this. Well, it's obviously, it's a little w weird when you put it in your pocket like that. But it's usable and I do prefer how quickly this charges versus using a MagSafe charger like, like the other Anchor product that I'll walk through in a bit. Yeah, that's why. Plus pocketability, it's just like, what? This thing is tiny, guys. It's nano. Its name is fitting of it because it's not thick at all and it's literally like that and it's always got the cable attached to it because usually when i do get a power bank sometimes i will forget the actual cable right but if you do want to use the cable here you can use that too and bam just put it in your pocket plug your phone what it is you're walking around you're charging your phone and it's all solved there right yeah, I can't really think of any cons to this Anchor Nano Power Bank, to be honest. It's 5,000 milliamp hours, maybe they could have made it 10,000, but again, I know probably would have had to increase in size, and I do not think that middle ground 10,000 milliamp hour section is worth it when you have options like this 27,650 milliamp hour prime charger, right? So, highly recommend. This is the safest buy for portability, and yeah, basically in the summer if you just want to... Put it in your pockets, you're not walking around with a backpack or anything.
All right, now let's walk on to the last thing and probably not gonna keep this, but actually I probably will. If you're getting any value so far, I would appreciate if you drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're interested in more content like this, telling you amazing products that are changing my life that I think might just change yours and some products that have literally changed my life. I wouldn't have created this channel if it weren't for some of the products that I will be reviewing on this channel because of the effect they've had on my health and vitality. Final accessory I'll walk through here is the Anchor Mag Go 10,000 milliamp hour battery with the display and a kickstand. So you slap this on the back of your iPhone, boom, MagSafe connection. You get the animation, amazing. It's charging up to 15 watts through MagSafe, which is virtually unheard of, super fast MagSafe charge. And then you can kickstand your phone, take your FaceTime call, watch your Netflix, watch your YouTube most likely, at least if you're me, you watch more YouTube than Netflix. Actually, drop a comment below if you watch more YouTube or Netflix. I'm kind of curious. I definitely am like 95% YouTube. So you're watching your content, you're charging your device at the same time. If the MagSafe charging is too slow for you, boom, grab your cable. Of course, with the adapter to the lightning, just in case you ever need to charge your AirPods Max. And then you just plug it in here, plug this into the charger. And boom, now it's using the wired charging over the MagSafe charging and it's charging even quicker. I don't know if it's like 25 watts or 22 watts or what it charges at when it's using the wire, but it is some high number. It's charging it at its maximum, maximum potential, I think. There you go. This one's awesome because it's got that indicator there. Again, kind of like the Anchor Prime telling you how much exact percentage is left in the power bank, as well as how long it's got before the power bank dies, I'm assuming, because there's no way it's gonna charge this iPhone from 34% to 100 in 24 minutes. So I think it's safe to assume this is how long before the power bank dies. And that was probably the case with the other one. It was telling us how long before the power bank dies as well on the Anchor Prime. So that's the Anchor Mag Go 10,000 milliamp hour power bank here reviewed. And I will link to a video about more MagSafe power bank options at the end of this one. So if you're interested in that, feel free to click on that at the end. And also I'll link to a video about my favorite MagSafe accessory for the iPhone. And I also use it for my Pixel 2 XL. That is the ESR Geo Wallet that you see here. It improves one-handed operation of my phone. Allows me to have a kickstand for FaceTiming whoever I need, whenever I need. Also watching whatever I want, wherever I want, at whatever angle I want. So full length review to these ESR Geo wallets as well will be linked here. So click, click on either one of these. What I will say for now is that the Anchor Prime power bank is a safe buy. The Anchor Mag Go MagSafe power bank is a safe buy. The Anchor Nano power bank is a safe buy. This is Safe Buys and I will catch you on the next video guys. Peace.